You can have one in the bedroom. You can have one standing in a hallway. You can have one in a closet. You can have one while standing at a window, watching as people walk by. You can have one in the powder room. No matter where you are, you will look classy and sophisticated having one. This. 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 This is an old fashioned. An old fashioned is a cocktail served in a traditional rocks or lowball glass, traditionally made by muddling sugar with bitters, adding whiskey, bourbon, or rye whiskey, tossing in a large ice cube, or filling the glass with ice, garnishing with an orange peel, and a cocktail cherry. Much like the sugar in an old fashioned, the origins of this cocktail are a bit muddled. In 1806, the first documented definition of the word cocktail was used to describe a potent concoction of spirits, bitters, water, and sugar, also referred to at the time as a bittered sling. By the 1860s, the concoction had come back into popularity and was referred to as the Old Fashioned. The most popular Old Fashions were made with whiskey. According to a Chicago barman quoted in the Chicago Daily Tribune in 1882, a gentleman's club in Louisville, Kentucky, founded in 1881, claims the Old Fashioned cocktail was invented there. All I know for certain is that this cocktail is delicious and I'm gonna show you how to make one today. But I'm not just mixing a few things in a glass and calling it a day. I'm going to show you how to make crystal clear restaurant style ice cubes at home. I'm also gonna show you how to make two different types of simple syrup. Plus, I'll show you how to make an orange peel garnish using three different tools. And then I'll show you how to make an old fashioned. Five ways. Let's get started. The ice you put in a cocktail makes a difference. Have you ever noticed that when you go to a nice restaurant, how clear the ice is, but the ice cubes from your freezer at home are cloudy and white? Regular ice gets cloudy when gases dissolved in the water get trapped and are forced into tiny bubbles. Or if the ice freezes in a way that does not allow large crystals to form. Regular cloudy ice, it's weaker and it melts faster, diluting your cocktail and adding unwanted flavors due to the impurities. Clear ice is strong and it melts slowly, adding no additional flavors to your cocktail. Let's make some clear ice. The secret to making clear ice is using distilled or filtered water. Fill up your kettle with distilled water or filtered water. Turn on your kettle and boil the water, but make sure it stays covered because you don't want dust settling on the surface of your water. The water has boiled. The water has boiled, but we're going to have to wait for it to cool and then boil it again. And then we'll be ready to pour it into the ice cube trays. It's boiling again. I've waited once again for the water to cool. Now I'm ready to pour it into my ice cube trays. I'm using a silicone large cubed ice cube tray that comes with a cover, but you can use any ice cube tray you have. If you don't have a cover, make sure to cover your tray with plastic wrap. This is very essential in creating clear ice cubes. I put them in the freezer, they froze, I pop them out, and look how clear they are. Ready to make an old fashioned. And now, it's time to make our simple syrup. You can buy it, but why buy it when it's so easy to make at home? All you need is equal parts sugar and water. If you wanted to make 10 cups of simple syrup, you would just put 10 cups of sugar in your pot and 10 cups of water. But I'm just gonna do a half a cup of sugar and a half a cup of water. And I'm gonna put it in this pot 
bring it up to a boil, make sure the sugar's dissolved, let it cool, and then put it into my squeezy bottle. Here's my half a cup of sugar in the pot it goes. Now for the water. Half a cup of water. Maximum heat. I'm gonna use my little whisk and mix the sugar and water up. I'm just gonna wait for it to come to a boil. I would just keep stirring it just to make sure nothing burns. That's it. Now let's do a brown sugar simple syrup. This is actually my favorite. I prefer it over the white sugar. It's super rich, the molasses in it is beautiful with the bourbon or rye whiskey. Same thing, equal parts. I'm doing a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of water. Be sure when you're measuring out the brown sugar to really pack it into your measuring cup. That's all. Half a cup of water. Bring this up to full heat, dissolve the sugar, and let it boil. It's come to a boil. The brown sugar simple syrup is done. Let it cool, and then put it into your squeezy bottle. White simple syrup, brown simple syrup, ready to make an old-fashioned. It's time to make the orange peel garnish. You can make orange peel garnishes using a vegetable peeler, or a potato peeler, or a simple paring knife. You choose, but I'm gonna show you how to use all three. My favorite tool to use to make an orange peel garnish is a vegetable peeler. Taking your washed orange Simply scrape along, making a two inch strip. This is a rustic, old fashioned orange peel garnish. Super simple. If you look on the back, this white stuff here, that's the pith. You don't want too much pith on your peel because the pith is very bitter. So if you find that you have too much of the pith, Cut the pith off. You definitely don't want the pith, so cut it off. Cut the pith off. Now I'll use a potato peeler. If you want to make it a little bit neater, you can always take your paring knife and cut nice lines. This is a little too perfect for me. I prefer the rustic, the rustic peel. And now using a paring knife. So you'll notice that there's quite a bit of pith on the orange peel. So we wanna take this pith off because it's quite bitter. So we'll scrape it off. And that's it. So you can use any one of these three tools to get the same job done. To start, we'll be making a classic old fashioned using a sugar cube. Take a sugar cube and place it in your glass. Next, two dashes of Angostura bitters. If you're unsure of how much two dashes is, next, take a bar spoon amount, or about a quarter of a teaspoon of water, and pour it over the ice cube. I'm using distilled water, because that's what I had to make the ice cubes. Taking a bar muddler, mash the sugar cube, the bitters, and the water together. If you don't have a bar muddler, use a spoon. 
what you want to do is dissolve the sugar as much as you can. Next, add one and a half ounces of bourbon, or you can use rye whiskey, or you can use any spirit you wish. You can use tequila, vodka, gin, rum, anything goes. Classically, bourbon or rye whiskey. Give it a good stir. The goal here is to dissolve that sugar cube. Looks good. Next, add one of our crystal clear ice cubes. Take one of your orange peel garnishes and fold it over your old fashioned, releasing the orange peel oils over the top coat of the alcohol. This not only adds a beautiful aroma, but also flavor. Put your garnish in. You can lean it upwards, you can put it down. Cocktail pick, cocktail cherry, a classic old fashioned. Next, we're going to make an old fashioned using the simple syrup that we made. We're going to start with the white simple syrup. Measure a quarter of an ounce. So half of a half of an ounce. Next, two dashes of Angostura bitters. An ounce and a half of bourbon. Give it a stir. Then put your garnish in. Cocktail stick. Another old fashioned. Next, the brown sugar simple syrup old fashioned. Measure out a quarter measure of brown sugar simple syrup. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. An ounce and a half of bourbon. Give it a good stir. Place in your ice cube. And if you like, you can give your orange peel a bit of a twist and stick it in your drink. Cocktail cherry. Now, how about a maple syrup old fashioned? Measure a quarter of an ounce of maple syrup. For something a little different, you can actually light the orange peel garnish, holding it over your glass. The flame will ignite with the oil of the orange and it will coat your beverage with a smoky taste and aroma of the orange peel. For this one, you don't put the orange peel garnish in the drink. The smoky aroma and flavor is enough. Maple syrup old fashioned. It smells really good. And for the last one, let's make a honey old fashioned. Measure out a quarter of an ounce. Almost forgot the bitters. Two dashes. A honey old fashioned. Pick your favorite spirit and pick your favorite sugar. Make a classic, the old fashioned. I've got some drinking to do, so I'll see you again next time. Enjoy.